Hey, this is Josh from Velocity Micro. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a really special build. This is with the Intel Xeon W3175. This is a 28 core processor. This is a very rare processor. Um, we've only built a handful of these machines. We were really proud of this one, so I wanted to show it off a little bit. Um, you can take a look at some of the hardware here really quick. We've got the processor overclocked. It's a 28 core processor. We've got it overclocked to 4.2 across all cores, 4.6 across two of the cores. Now, one really important distinction about overclocking, you may see some reviews out there with this chip overclocked to 4.6, 4.7. They have the AVX offset down to 3.1, which is the stock. Now, we have the AVX at 4.0, so that means in terms of real world performance, you're gonna see much, much better numbers with a system overclock like this, nice and stable at 4.2 and 4.0. So let's just take a look at some of the hardware. We've got the Asus Dominus Extreme board. This is an enormous board. We're gonna talk about that a little bit more in a second, um, but it's one of the few boards that supports this chip. We've got a RTX 2080, Intel 905P, and then for the cooler, we use the EKWB uh, CPU block with a 280 millimeter fan. We're gonna run Cinebench here in a second. One thing I wanted you to notice is because of the size of the motherboard itself and the fact that uh, with an overclock like this, the system actually requires two power supplies, we had to go with a different case. Not a standard GX5 case like we normally would. This is the Fantex Inthu Elite. Uh, it's a steel case with a tempered side panel. You can see it's a huge, huge case. It's a really excellent case. There's only three or four chassis in the world that would support a build like this and we've had some really good experience with, uh, with Fantex, so we decided to go that direction. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at Cinebench. We'll run some numbers and see where we come out. So the fact that we have that overclock stable across all cores at 4.2, again, it's 28 cores, 56 threads. So if you're working with really intense CPU applications, things like simulation, um, physics experiments, data calculation, financials, this is gonna be a huge, huge production opportunity for you. So you see we have a score here of 14,446. Honestly, it's one of the highest scores I've ever seen in Cinebench. Uh, the only thing that they have higher than that is a Intel Xeon Platinum, which is actually a 48 core chip. It's about a $5,000 processor. So there's a ton of value here in this processor, especially if you're doing CPU intensive applications. Thanks for checking this out. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you.